This is my key verse, verse 46. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart and praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. This morning I come with a call and I believe a prophetic call not only to this congregation but to the church at large around the world. Can you and I, can we have a church that God can entrust, that He can add to? What does that church look like in a pandemic, in a crisis? In this economic crisis that that the world economist is telling us is going to happen. How are we going to do church in that scenario? Can we be a church that even in that generation of perverseness that God can trust us, that he can add to the church. And I've got news for you. He's going to use you. Come on, sir. To add. Yes. yes. Right. I'm a bit afraid I'm going to contract it at church. But I don't get it at first watch. Yeah. They didn't come to church, but I heard they were at Disney. So yesterday I'm at Atlanta uh, uh, Airport and I'm sitting at a table and um, a gentleman is trying to find a seat. I said, sit here. Are you sure? Just come sit here. I only said, you're going to speak to him today. And he says, why are you here? I said, I'm here for a, I came for a funeral. I'm on my way to preach. You see, you're a pastor. And uh, I felt a bit uncomfortable. He says, I'm also, I also belong to a church. Holy Spirit said, he's, he's, he belongs, but he's not involved. You can belong, but not involved. You can spectate, but not be involved. Come on, sir. And uh, the spectators has been revealed in COVID. Yes. Uh, the spectators has been exposed in COVID. And, and, and can I be blunt? The fact that you are here and not online doesn't mean that you're involved. Uh, Meaning, so when the Bible says they continually, they continue daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, and they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. When I started meditating on this bishop, they not only received the word with glad, the, the food with gladness and with simplicity, they received the word with gladness. It's time that the saints enjoy God's word again. Many of us come to church like we've been baptized with lemon juice. Oh, God's word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. David says, come taste and see that the Lord is good. Secondly, mm, mm, mm. simplicity of heart, they also devoted themselves. Not only a gladness of receiving, but there's outflowing out of that word, a renewed devotion. Yeah. Yeah. A renewed dedication yeah. to the cause of Christ. Yeah. A devotion even to the point where I need to be a martyr. Mm. But we've settled for a church of convenience. Mm. I must receive my gospel in convenience. And perhaps I need to speak to those online today again. You need to test your heart. Whether you're not at home based on your convenience. Or whether you be on conviction. Bishop Boone taught me nothing in the earth will happen greatly used of God in the atmosphere of convenience. That's right. That's right. It's going to require a sacrificial devotion. Yes, sir.